Hi there, back again. Just a little project share with you guys. Um, I actually used Cartabella Christmas Collection that I did show you, I think, in a video. There was one video that didn't upload. Um, absolutely love this collection. It is so stinking cute. And I use uh, Craft Text as well. So what I did create is a B6 notebook. Well, it's kind of like, how do you call it? A December tracker more so, I think. Um, you know how you, you've got things to plan, ready for Christmas and getting ready for the holiday season. That's what I basically created it for. Now, I didn't have any buffalo check <laughs> ribbon to make a little um, a dangle from, so I just used one that I've already had, and eventually I'll stick something on there. I did use the Cartabella. I think I used a couple of different things from a couple of other collections. I also did use printables, which was fantastic. I mean, I was going to do my printables, my own way and I just don't have the time so I went on Etsy and searched for printables that would suit me now this is a b6 size is that right b6 yes b6 size so the number five in foxy fix so I done it tailored it to those measurements now um I purchased from Jessenia Printables. Now, I love Jessenia Printables. Absolutely love them. Always use them in my Foxy Fixes as well. And the new one I did uh, download from was Printable Pineapple. And I'll show you which ones are which. So, since I love the stockings in, in like the plaid or the buffalo check, whatever you'd like to call it, um, I wanted to put it on the cover there as well. And to make the the actual notebook itself, I used my craft text, and that is absolutely amazing because it won't tear and it holds really well. And because the other thing too is the fact that the Cartabella paper is so thick, it is absolutely gorgeous on there. So it makes the cover even more sturdier. And I just used some elastic in here as well and I think this December tab here from was ugh, from a collection many years ago um I got it in a Christmas December daily kit I think it was actually October afternoon I could be wrong so let's take a sneak peek this pocket I created myself um the rounded pocket I wanted something to you know go on the inside of the cover I just put some you know, acetate in there, polka dot one that was left over. I'm going to mount a photo on there so that'll look really cute. I um, cut out the tags from one of the papers there. And they, that's the back of them there. And I did make this envelope myself as well. I put a magnet in it and what I've done is gotten some acetate and I actually stamped on it from... Uh, tis the season um that was the stamp set that i got from october afternoon and it was their december daily kits i'm so gutted that they stopped making their december daily kits because i purchased one every year and then all i done was ran washi around it so that i can use it within my um planner here for december okay so this is the first page that you open up now i just want to make sure that you guys can see that without the glare now i did have foxy fix um plastic coverings but as you will see and you guys know i use the avery l um pockets as well so they are let me see they are these ones here that you use for your stamps and your dies and everything. But I'll use the largest ones you can get um, for my notebooks and everything. Because I find it so handy and not everybody can obtain these plastic 
covers either so it's just another way of doing it or you can use acetate which I have used in this and I'm so excited to show you guys with what I came up with so it's nothing fandangle but you know I love it I think it's cute anyway so I've done the cover for the inside of it and the printables here I'll just move this to one side so I did layer um the cards and everything on there and decorated the front and decorated the back there and it was just a three by four card which is really really cute and this printable was which i really love this was actually from the printable pineapple now it's got november and then it's got your december as well so you can put in you know in your month and then it's got the little stockings there. So you can put your numbers in there or colour them in as you go along. Love these printables. So it's got your shopping list there, online order tracker, stocking stuffer ideas, um, shopping list, Christmas bucket list, and decoration ideas. And, of course, then it goes countdown to Christmas. And then holiday events list, like Christmas gift planner. And I love all of this stuff. I really do. Um, it helps me organise myself for this festive season. So I absolutely love it. And you've got holiday card tracker. I will leave the links down below for you guys as well. So you can... Go and check out these ladies' shops. I think they're brilliant. And down the side columns as well, you will find that they've got, you know, whatever planner you're using it for, they've got the printables for that specific planner. But, I mean, look, holiday menu planner, party guest list, budget tracker, party planner, party guest list, gift, guest li gift list, holiday party planner again, card tracker so it does have a lot in here and you can incorporate photos as you go along too i think so that's a great thing to have on the back of it i just did put a little glassine envelope so you can see in there okay went to santa's magical kingdom last year absolutely loved it it's totally worth it and then, of course, your pocket at the back here. So I'm just going to put these to one side. And it's great. Like, I did, didn't did cut, um, obviously, small enough, but I love the white showing on mine. It's neither here nor there for me. Nobody else is going to see it. It's for my personal use. Okay. So with this one, I created myself. Um, I decorated the front. I made my own jump band so that I can link. Whoop, so I can link the two together under one band that's in here. And hopefully you guys can see all of this. Oh my goodness! Hopefully it's in frame. Sorry guys, if I'm not. The other thing I found while I was doing this as well because I was inking too, and. I just wanted to create something to hold my ink um, little thing. So I got my acetate and scored it on either side, like measured how wide my ink pad was and um, just scored it. And I keep it on my desk. You can make a few of these up for your different colours. What you can do is just clean that off. It's neither here nor there. It will come off anyway because it is the oxide inks. And I just stuck the bottom down with glue dots and they can be um, pulled up as well. So it sits nicely on your desk. You're not going to have brown marks everywhere. So I absolutely love this. I was just sitting here with some um, uh, scraps of the acetate and I thought, oh, that's a, you know, might make one of these. And, you know, it's worked really well for me. So I love that. Um, once again, I used the card here, may the uh, Christmas season fill your home with joy. I used the border um, strip that they had there and it had um, tape on it. This one here I know for sure is Jacinia printables. Once again, I made another curved pocket there. Okay, 
and put one of the four by six cards in the side there because I can always stick a photo on the back or journal, put blank paper on the back and journal of it. Some three by four cards here with a little paper clip. I was going to put bows in it and everything, but because I'm going to be using it a lot, I didn't want that extra added bulk. Okay, so this is a Jessinia printables. And this isn't the front cover. I took the front cover away from it because I think it just had a basic cover on the front. And I just wanted it to have the note section there. Now, this one here has got your Monday through to Sunday. And I love the little lanterns there and, you know, the Christmas decorations. So that goes all the way through. And then you've got lists they're checking it twice as well this I purposely didn't print on this side because I wanted something to add photos with as well just in you know a section of it as well and you've got more notes in this one too okay just in case you know I need that extra um, space and then that's the back of it and that's where I stuck down this December and that's the back of that. So these two will loop in together. So that I've kept them together here. And I'll pop that clip there. And it's fun doing this, I think, for you <laughs> for Christmas. I love it. Okay, so this one I've created as well. Myself. Um, I love this. And so I did use black cardstock. Hindsight, I should have used um, the one, the cardstock that I did use is just cracked along here. I should have really used my craft text for that because that would have been perfect. Um, so there's two pockets along here. And that's just another uh, six by four, Mary and Bright. And then there's another pocket along here. And you can tick those off as you go along. Now, I just wanted a little place for, you know, a photo and maybe some journaling down the side. And then I've got pockets here, which I've created to the side as well and added some of the stickers. And this, I think, I think, I think is either Technique Tuesday or a Teresa Collins. I'm pretty sure it's Technique Tuesday. They have the stamps and then the dies to go along with it, and that's what this die is. And I just used one of my October afternoon stamps to stamp up the top of that. And that just slides in there, and I've got more room at the back there for another photo mat. And I use my bow die here, and that's the pink and main bow die. And that's the back of it there. Okay. So the next one is Jessinia Printables. I'm pretty sure it is. Could be wrong on that one. So let me check. Yes, Jessinia Printables. So once again, I just layered my papers. And I love that. The plaid there. Absolutely love it and um cut out this um you actually get the journaling card is actually four by four you get four by four cutouts in the collection as well this is the border strip sticker that i used as well and that's the inside of it so jessinia printables this is the christmas one as well and this is so cute i mean look at that girl how gorgeous is she like seriously Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> you guys will probably be able to see it there. All right. And then notes on the same. So that kind of repeats all the way through. And I love that. Now, I mean, you could put photos there and um, journal as well. That was my whole thing behind it so that I can actually use it. Even though I'm doing a December daily, I figured this would be a fun way to keep those memories and then I can incorporate them afterwards. Now, this is another Foxy Fix uh, covering here and another jump band I've created. So I'm guessing that's going to go on one of these. 
Um, I did have an M, um, you know, initial there in the bling. This was actually from this paper clip, the snowflake one, was actually from oh, Coco Daisy. I used to subscribe to their planner kits and you get so much in them and because they come every month, it was just so overwhelming. I couldn't use them all up and I've still got tons and tons left. And then um, I... That was the Coco Daisy. Then I went on to the Planner Society. Once again, you definitely got your value for money with the Planner Society. Once again, found that that was way too much and I wasn't using it. And then I went to another one and the same thing with that one as well. So I completely cut those out. Um because I figure, you know, I could either make the things myself or you can always buy your cardstock to make the planner things. And don't get me wrong, they are handy if you don't have the time. And they do make sure that everything goes in together and ties in together. And I love that. But, you know, now I'm finding because I have got so many that I haven't used you get papers, you get stickers, you you know, planner stickers, you get pens, you get pencil cases, you get everything. And um, I used to really enjoy it until my boxes started piling up and I thought, oh, I can't possibly get through these. So hence why I decided to stop them, the subscriptions, and make my own. Okay. So on this one, all I've done was covered the interior pocket. And this is a Jacinia printable as well. And it's just got, you know, your wish list, which is great. I absolutely love that. So it gives you a few places there. Card list, um, gift list, ideas of what you want to buy. And I love the little bows that go along there as well gift ideas and it goes on through there and then you've got a section here with notes which is fantastic love that so that went behind there and then last but not least this is my all-time favorite pocket oh that's not last but not least so i will show you this one which i <laughs> did create um, this is using the Avriel die, um, Avriel die, Avriel pocket. And all I did do was fold it in half and then you use your, uh, what do you call it? Fuse tool. And so I've created a pocket, this bit where the flap is, that's a pocket going this way. And then all I did do was cut the top of this. And then you've got a pocket going up that way as well. So you can add things in here. You can add photos. You can add receipts, yeah, journaling cards, extra things that you want to put in there you can add. And I made this fun little um, bow clip there as well. And this one was, this bow was from uh, My Creative Time or Creative Time Dies. And this is the bow here, which I absolutely love. And that's just the back of it. So I did put a star on there and use some gold pow glitter uh, paper from American Crafts. Now, this is what I've been hanging out to show you guys. Is this little pocket. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Love it. Love it. I love using it. Oh, that was a bit loud. Sorry, guys. Turn your volume down. I love using acetate in my projects and because I wanted somewhere to store my receipts, I had my acetate and I created a pocket. Now, I did use cam snaps with this, so because it's acetate, it's going to hold it really well and I love this. So, I did create the pocket. I've got all my cam snaps. And these are fantastic to use in your mini albums. I've made mini albums with fabric pockets and use the cam snaps in them. Um, I basically made them for classes. If I make them for a class, I generally don't show it on my YouTube channel because it is specific for a class and it is a paid class. So I don't want to sort of take away 
from uh, those people that did pay for it. And so um, these are fantastic. Now, these are my cam snaps in here, and I've got plenty in the box still as well. So I just put them in here. I think I'm going to need a bigger tray um, because I keep on, you know, getting different colours as I go along. And you can buy them in kits with so many colours. And there's a lovely tool that you've got there for your, your cam snaps to secure them. Like I said, I absolutely love this. I'm working on another project using the cam snap, so so excited. Now, to me, um, with acetate, it's a lot harder to put with it. magnets, I guess. Um, you can use in there, but, you know, then you've got to glue down the backs and cover it up and everything. And sometimes I like to have my acetate exposed. And you can also, if you wanted to, you could cover the acetate up and still have your cam snaps in place. Now, I had that fella -la, um, you know, um, a sticker there. I didn't worry about too much about covering the back of it. It's only me that's going to see it. But if you were to do it for yourself and give it for a gift, obviously, then you would cover that up. And then I just use a couple of different stickers from another collection, which I can't remember the name of it. And I thought this was cute. I just wanted to do something cutesy in there. And that will go in there and that closes. So I can put all my receipts in there that I spend during Christmas time and have it there in case there's something that I need to exchange before I give the gift or you know you've doubled up on a gift and what have you so it's perfect to have something like this here then you open it up it's the same concept like I did with the other ones with the other one sorry you've got your cards they'll go all the way down here then I have put a pocket here which I love another pocket at the back here and one again in the side here so love this over this side now you can do the same on the other side as well so that you've doubled up on your pockets and you know made the most of it and I haven't decided but I probably will do it on the opposite side I just want to show you the different options of what you can do and all I did do is just you know, use my corner chompers for those ones. And that's the back of that. Okay. And then the back of the cover here, you guys will be able to see. I've actually done the pocket and I've actually cut out a piece here so that I can stick some journaling cards in there. And I've done that just with my paper trimmer. Really, really cute. And then they just go back into place here. Oh, these are so stinking cute. I love them. I love this pocket. It's, it's my favourite, I think, out of all of them. Oh, I've got things muddled up in there. Okay, that will go there. Yeah, you guys will see my rough handling of my book here. But, you know, if you're going to put it in your bag and what have you, you need it so that it does so that it can be you know handled and it, it stands up to it that's why i did use craft text on my one because i knew that it's going to be handled a bit so okay and then i'm pretty sure these join up together so and i've probably got them around and back to front the other way so Okay, perfect. So minus, you know, the odds and bobs there. It goes back together perfectly and you don't need anything on there. I'll probably take that off because it'll get caught in my handbag and I don't want that to happen. So that's it there. So that's my Christmas, you know, what can you say? Notebook, um, Christmas planner, I would say for me. Um, have a look if you guys or create your own printables as well so you can tailor it to your needs. Um, I wish I had the time to do my own. I just don't have the time. As you guys can see, I, my YouTube videos are, um, are not as many 
as I used to do. So, which I'm sad about because, you know, work gets in the way and um, life gets in the way, really. Well, it's not really getting in the way, but life happens, work happens and, you know, it's part of our lives. So stay tuned for more. Hopefully I haven't been too far off the video. I'll have to go back on it and take a look. Thanks again for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Um, I have got another project a project hopefully um coming up soon okay thanks guys for watching have a great weekend and take care of one another bye